Hi, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to align objects to the surface of another. So we'll start by creating a simple sphere. Drop a geonode. Create a sphere. And I'm going to convert it to a polygon and increase the frequency a little bit of it. Um, to make it interesting, I'm also going to extend the bottom part of that sphere. So I'm going to put in a group node. And in the group node, I'm going to enable the bounding box. I'm just going to switch here quickly to my uh, wireframe, change that to points. And I'm going to scale that up a bit and bring it down. So we're basically selecting kind of the bottom parts of the sphere we've created. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit more. And I'm going to add a soft transform. So I can use that to scale it. So I'm going to the group, I'm going to select group one and scaling in Y going to bring it down a bit. If I press enter, you can see the effect of the self transform on the object. Basically, we're creating kind of an acorn shape to our uh, sphere. Now, the next thing is the important part. Currently, we don't have any normals. So if I go here and We have vertex normals. We have uh, primitive normals, but we don't have uh, point normals. And that's what we're going to be using are the point normals in order to uh, scatter our object onto them. So to make that work, I'm going to drop in a normal node. And in the normal node, I'm going to set the at at your normals rather than vertices, change them to points. So now when we enable that, you can see in the geometry spreadsheet that our points do have normals. And if I go back here, you can see the normals pointing from each and every point in our main shape. Now the next part is going to scatter points along our object. So drop a scatter node and let me turn that off and I'm going to reduce the number it's a little bit too much what I will want to do eventually is just scatter my objects along the bottom part of my shape so we'll do that using the copy two points okay so that's where we are in this first part the second part let's create a tube that we're going to use as the object that we're going to be scattering. So change the tube from a primitive to a polygon. Let's add the end caps. Let's make the tube much narrower and reduce the height a little bit. So in relation to our points, it kind of looks like this. And we can make it even a little bit smaller and shorter. Okay, so when we add the copy to points, as it is, you're going to see that me getting this. It's an interesting shape, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. We want these tubes to actually start pointing out upwards. So the first thing is I'm going to assign the copy two points to the target which is going to be our group one so in the copy two points go to target points and select group one so you'll see now that it's limiting itself to what we have selected in the first group and now to make this uh, stand out it's important to remember that when you do a copy two points, Houdini usually assumes that your objects are facing in a positive Z direction. And obviously our tube is not, it's pointing straight up. So 
one way to fix that is to drop in a transform node after our tube and align it so it's facing the Z direction. And that means that we're going to have to rotate it 90 degrees on the X. If you do that, so we set it to 90 degrees and you can see here the transform. And by simply doing that, you'll see that the tubes are now pointing in the direction that we're expecting to. So they're pointing away from our sphere shape and working properly. So um, I can go back to the scatter, reduce some of these so there's a little bit less, easier to see. And you can see that it's working. Now, a small issue here is you'll notice how each one of the tubes is actually half in and half out, right? So what you want is, I'm assuming, the bottom part of your object to actually be stuck to the surface of the sphere. Two ways of doing that. The first one, you can use the axis align tool from Side Effects Labs. So if you go and drop in an axis align, put it above the transform. And what it does effectively is it takes your object and puts it right on the grid with a transform. And then when you copy to point, it's going to do it there properly. If you don't want to go through adding another node, what you could do, so let me just copy this transform over here, right? So we have our 90 degrees. What you can do is basically using the translate in Y and the pivot transform. So basically move the pivot of our tube rather than having it be right here at the center. We want to move it to the very bottom of the uh, tube itself. So it's a little bit added code, but um, you also have full control. And I think it's always good if you have control over your nodes. So to quickly do that, you go in this second transform, go to translate in Y and just that type B box zero because we're referring to um, our tube and then D underscore Y max. So what this will do is effectively just bring it up so it's sitting on the ground and then rotate it. But now to bring the uh, pivot to the bottom of it, so just to show you, right? Currently the pivot is at the center. If you want to bring the pivot down, you go to the pivot translate and do the same thing, B box zero, but this time we're going to assign it to the Y min. Right? So you can see how the pivot here just dropped to the bottom of our tube. And now you can rotate this 90 degrees. When you copy two points, there you go. You get the same effect. So this is a quick way of um, aligning your objects to the surface of another one along the normals. And this is quite useful if you want to do things like, I don't know, create viruses or, you know, whatever other crazy stuff or pineapples or, you know, that kind of um, items. So hopefully this was useful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.